Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the flow of water through uh, uh, spillways or structures used to pass excess water and floods from the top to the bottom of the dam. In fact, the spillways are structures with a certain height that discharge excess water when the height of the water exceeds their height. There are different types of spillways including Ogi, Step, Side, Lotus, Tunnel, Siphon and so on spillways. The present problem simulates the flow of water through a spillway. The three-dimensional geometry of the present model is designed using design modeler software. To present model includes a domain for water and airflow at a height of 0.3 06 meter and a spillway at a height of 0.156 meter. This figure shows the geometry. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 698691 and this figure shows the mesh. From the scale mesh section, we can see the domain extents and uh, check the view length that in this simulation the view length unit is in meter. Also, we use the open channel flow uh, from the submodel of the volume of fluid uh, to model the simulation because there is a hydraulic level for, for water and the open channel flow model uh, would uh, obtain to the best and most accurate answers. In the near wall treatment option, we select the standard wall function uh, because if the K epsilon turbulence model is used like in this simulation, it is not possible to simulate flow vortex near the walls. So a wall function must be defined that is a standard wall function for this simulation to investigate the fluid behavior near the wall. There is a very, very important tip for this kind of simulation that is defining the reference pressure location. As we can see in this simulation, the reference pressure location for Y is equal to 0.3. The reason is that the maximum magnitude of the uh, domain extent in the Y axis is almost equal to 0.3 meter for all the spillway domain so the reference pressure location should be equal to the maximum level of this domain that is equal to 0.3 meter and the water volume fraction in the top boundary is equal to zero because there is no water in the top of the domain In this simulation, uh, we are facing with a transient simulation that is going to be simulated after a steady state simulation for just obtaining the animation. So because of that, uh, the number of uh, time steps is equal to 50 and the time step size is equal to uh, 0.001. So the total time for getting the animation is equal to 50 multiple 001 second that is equal to 0 0.05 second the water volume fraction contour this is the two-dimensional velocity contours that shows that uh, the maximum velocity is after the water collides the dam and starts uh, descending movements uh, through the dam and spillway and so the maximum uh, value of the velocity is uh, the where that you can see. As we select the uh, contours of mesh in the Y coordinate and select the volume fraction equal to 0.5 that is the hydraulic level. The contour shows us the height of the hydraulic level in uh, every slide of the animation. So this is the main surface that we should define. 
so we select both mesh 2 and counter 1 that have defined and save this finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product to benefit from master cft services including simulation consultation and training contact our experts via info at sign hope you enjoy